We have talked about it, we have planned for it, and it is now finally time to take the temple down behind us and rebuild it into something amazing. And as you can tell, I am very sick right now. I'm starting to feel better, but I still do not have a lot of energy and you can certainly tell it in my voice. So let's see how much we can get done by first tearing down this temple. Well, friends, look at that. We have torn down the entire temple and now we are looking at some very ugly stone. So we definitely need to fix this. And in order to do that, we're going to have to do a lot of resource gathering because the palette is going to be very similar to the palace and this village here. And we are going to need a lot of spruce wood. We are going to need a lot of sandstone, smooth sandstone, uh, oak wood, birch wood, all of that kind of stuff. So it is time to get ourselves into a resource gathering montage. So let's go. And so we started right into it, gathering a bunch of spruce wood once again before heading in to tear down some birch wood and of course some oak wood to get all the wood necessary for this build and then we went sand mining although there is no clips of that but we did go sand mining and get a lot of sandstone well there we go i have done a little bit of prep work to actually get ourselves ready to start building up this temple and i wanted to bring you guys back as you may have noticed i have completed the pathway uh, semi <laughs> um I did just switch it out. I thought maybe we could put a tree or something along here um, or some type of garden. And of course this garden will extend a little bit out this way and we will need a path over to the temple, but that's kind of the base layout of the current temple. Now, part of it is uh, going to be inside of this mountain. And I think that's okay how far back I have it. Uh, that way it just leaves more space in the front here for kind of the garden vibe that I think it kind of needs. So we're going to leave it like this. I think it should be completely fine and we're going to get building. I think we're going to actually just jump into another time lapse here and build this thing up. With that, I think we can safely say that the exterior of this build is complete. But yes, this is what our build looks like. This is what the temple is going to be. I tried for a little bit of a different roof style. I didn't like it. So I haven't finished the roof, but we are just going to do a flat roof similar to what we have over here on the palace but we will be adding in some azalea leaves, maybe a few trees, like the decor around the palace definitely needs to be upped a little bit. 
but the main structure itself is complete. We got some lapis blocks and gold blocks and a bunch of detail within this build. And I'm loving it. I am really loving how this has turned out. Uh, it's huge. It is larger than what I had originally done in my creative world, but I think it fits into this area so well. So if we take a little bit of flyover to a different direction, we'll just go hang out on the top here. As you can tell, the build goes back into the mountainside and I really like how it's kind of coming out of the mountain. But I thought for right now that we could do a little bit of work to decorate the interior. Because as you can tell, um, it's a little boring. <laughs> it is just a little boring. Of course, we have the mountainside in the back. I might take some of that down. I haven't decided exactly how I want it to look in here. But if we come in here, as you can tell, I have started putting up a wall of birch wood because that's what I was wondering. I was like, it's kind of ugly, these walls right here, just seeing the backside of them since it is slanted. And I didn't really like that. And so I thought if we just did straight walls in here with some strip birch wood, it could work out really well. And then there's gonna be a massive staircase right here in the center that goes up to the next level. So I think once we get in the birch wood all the way around and put in that staircase, we can get a couple of chandeliers going on down bottom here and potentially a different floor. Because right now, like, it's just moss and I'm not sure that I want just moss in here. So I'm thinking possibly a different floor, probably some glazed terracotta, maybe a couple of statues or something like that down bottom here. And then, yeah, a staircase up to the second level with some more awesome interior decor. That is one thing I definitely want to do with this build is make sure our interior is beautiful and finished. This is the top level, so super simple. And like I said, I don't have the roof done yet, but we'll probably just do like a layer of sandstone or something and potentially a moss one on top of that. So we could have like a green roof. I'd still have plans to put in a floor and more than likely, I will be opening this up to the floor down bottom so that it's just like a big massive room and not two levels. So those are the plans. But for now, besides sleeping, we are going to actually have to get going on building up the interior walls. So in order to do the interior walls, I do have a bunch of birch wood on me, but we'll probably have to go cut down some more birch. And yeah, it is time to place up some walls, I guess. <laughs> Let's get going. So we have made some serious progress here. I have worked quite a bit on the interior. Now this level up here is not finished, but I'm kind of having a little bit of a brain freeze on how to actually finish that section up. But I have done quite a bit of work in the basement location, first floor I guess would be what you would call it. So I will go and take you guys over there to show you that, but I'm very happy with the progress so far. We will eventually obviously do a garden in the front and a few other decorations around here. But I think for right now, this is kind of, you know, this episode is actually pretty big. Um, it's taken me a lot longer to complete this temple than I thought it was going to, but irregardless, I am very happy with the progress. So one of the last things I want to do besides showing you guys the interior a little bit is I have a bunch of azalea leaves on me and I was thinking that maybe we could come up here and see what it's going to be like to actually put in a few azalea leaves as decorations. That was one thing that I had in my creative test world for the decorations around here and I haven't actually finished putting them in. So. I'm going to spend a little bit of time just placing leaves randomly and we'll see what it looks like. I am trying to make sure that this is mob proof and currently it's not, which is why we have so many torches around here. So I'm going to do a little bit of work and try and make sure that this is actually spawn proof and we don't have issues. The interior is now spawn proof, which is good, but definitely want to make sure this exterior is as well. I will catch back with you guys shortly once I have finished putting a few leaves around this temple. So now that we have actually had a chance to put on the leaves, I am liking it a lot better. I think just adding that piece of like greenery to the top of the temple is so helpful and definitely matches in with the greenery that we have over on the palace. 
Now, there definitely needs to be more detail to it. Like I said, it has been a very long time to build this thing up. And so I think we are going to save that for another episode where we do a little bit more exterior decorating, like the garden and matching it in with the hillside back there. But overall, I am still very happy with the progress that we made here on this temple. And it is now time to go show you guys the interior. So like I said, the top part is not actually finished. Uh, we'll need to spend some time on that. But down here, we have quite the entrance coming in. We got a couple of water features in the back and I kind of did these little decorations on the wall. Uh, just some gold blocks, a little bit of copper and some sea lanterns that Mr. Frogger left for me. And then of course we got these gorgeous, but also very simple chandeliers. And I just did the same ones on both sides. So I'm actually kind of happy with how they turned out. I think it definitely adds a little bit more character to the basement here. And these water features I really like, but I'm thinking I might expand them a little bit. And I don't know how exactly to do that yet, except to have like some paths of water with stairs maybe around, or even just like, some stepping stones that you walk across and this whole thing is water. I'm not sure if that's too much. So certainly let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear your ideas to detail this area up a little bit more. Then here on the walls, I added in some upside down stairs of copper and some candles on top. And that just enabled this whole place to be mob proof, but also it's kind of cute. It's just kind of adds a little bit more. I tried doing random placement of the candles around and I didn't like it. It was just really, I don't know, it just felt really weird. So I decided to go with kind of the staircase along the walls and I don't mind it. I think it has turned out quite nicely. And then we did a few candles along this staircase as well. And we did a dark prismarine line in the center of the staircase, which I kind of like. It definitely adds a more regal touch to this area. And like I said, upstairs, it's it's not finished. <laughs> There's just random uh, lanterns sitting around so that it's mob proof up here. But I did end up adding in a little bit of chiseled stone. That's what it's called, I think. And then we also have just some like stone bricks, etc. And I decided to continue the pathway up to this section. So I want to put something right here against the wall. I know this is a temple, so it would make sense to put like a statue there. Uh, we might do that. I also considered possibly, even though this would be like a temple, maybe even just a giant throne right here could work out as well. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but we'll have to do that in another episode. I tried a little bit of making a chandelier at the top. I'm not sure I'm in love with it, but it's a work of progress. It's good. <laughs> So that is what the interior so far looks like in our temple. And I think it's coming along. Definitely needs a few more added detail bits, but overall it is definitely looking so much better than the last temple that we had. And I'm super happy with it. So I do think that is gonna be all for this episode. It's taken me way longer to produce this than I thought it would. So apologies for that uh, sickness and um, vacation in the center of it all definitely slowed down the production of this episode, but I really want to get it out to you guys and show off this brand new temple build, which I am very proud of and so happy that we did. If you are liking my content, uh, YouTube thinks that you're going to like this video right here that they're recommending on the end screen. And if you are new, I would absolutely love if you would subscribe. So thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next episode. Bye for now.